Hey, what is up, guys? This is Cobb, and I hope you're ready for some ball action. No, not those balls, man. Steel balls, goddammit. This replay is submitted by Mr. Jackal. He's playing some speed specialist, which I love already. The ball's positioned in a vertical pattern behind the buildings here at the start, which I don't know how I feel about that. I find that just a flat formation, uh, like horizontal with the steel balls, tends to work a little bit better for me, personally. I feel like it maximizes the amount of different units that they latch on at the same time. But then again, oh my god, okay. Alright, dude, we're, we're off to the races right away, dude. That's it. Jackal already knows exactly what he wants to do. <laughs> okay, dude. More steel balls come down, 350 supplies still left to burn. What on earth is Red doing? Oi, yo, 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 yo. Ladies and gents. Uh, field maintenance against the steel ball opener. That it that that pff. make it make sense. That don't make no damn sense to me. Okay, anyways, man, Red is playing some heavy armor specialist. I don't know. Maybe he just thinks the sledgehammers can out tank steel balls somehow. Nonsense. Absolute ridiculousness. Okay, man. Let's see how it pans out. Additional chaff comes down for uh, blue, which I think is honestly pretty excellent. Buy a bit more time for these guys. And ooh, look, that's what I mean, man. Steel balls over here latch. Very, very nice and spread out on the tanks, but there was, for a second there, like six steel balls latched on the same tank. Which is really not ideal. Ooh, but look at how much more value they're getting over here now, man. Do they have time to get the building dead? Just a bit of extra experience there, getting some levels now, which is nice. Very good. Okay, they got like one more kill, man. That's fine. Okay, two more kills. Cool. Levels on those guys right away. That's what we like to see. Okay. Sabertooths. The Rhino comes out for Jekyll. Okay, the man is just going full aggro mode. Melting point for red. I think that's really, really good. Ooh, wow. Straight into energy absorption? On the steel balls, dude? Before range? Wow, dude. I mean, hell, it might actually pay off. Ooh, we don't have damage sharing, though. I was going to say, like, with uh, energy absorption and uh, damage sharing on the steel balls, you can actually man-fight melting points, which is just ridiculous. It's like it's not like a... It's not a reliable way to win the game, put it that way. <laughs> but it works for, like, a crazy good spectacle, you know what I mean? Okay, anyways. Uh, yeah, I really, really support the melting point. I think that that's great. I think that's awesome. I think, that, I think that's fantastic. Good god, though, man, is red lacking chaff. I just noticed. There's nothing tucked away behind the buildings. Yeah, it needs to be, like, crawlers here, crawlers here. Maybe even, like, crawlers just here and here as well. Oh, god, well, melting point's taking up that space. Fangs would also work. Fang, fang, fang. Would also be a decent start. Gotta stop these balls from connecting on these horizontally positioned tanks, which is really not ideal as well. If you're going up against steel balls, you want your tanks to be in a vertical pattern. So they're much, much less likely to get latched on uh, in, like, one big group, like what's happening right now. Where you've got, like, multiple tanks dying at the same time. Really not what you want. Oh my god. And the balls are just gonna bring down the giant as well. They just don't care, dude. That guy actually outhealed the damage like a, <laughs> like a Giga Chad, man. Many, many levels coming up with the steel balls. Okay, dude. Dude, we're off, man. Look at the levels that are coming in now. It's already getting so succulent, man. Smoke bomb, do it. Yes. There it is. Many, many upgrades. Very good. Gotta defend against the smoke bomb as well, though. We need, like, a shield here and a shield here. Gotta be done. Plus damage on the arc lights. I like that a lot. I think that that's great. Still lacking so much chaff over here, though, for red. I think that just going the plus uh, attack on the Acolytes would have been fine for now. Really, really needs some kind of fangs here, or crawlers like here, uh, on red, just to slow the rate at which the steel balls are connecting on the tanks. By the way, I, I mentioned it really quickly at the start of that last round, um, but if you're going into steel balls, right, you're facing up against steel balls and you're red, um, you never want to play sledgehammers like this in a horizontal pattern. The reason for that is, well, if the steel balls come in and they're also in a horizontal pattern like this, what's going to happen? One ball's going to latch here, 
One's gonna latch here, one's gonna latch here, one's gonna here, one's gonna here. And the whole pack of tanks will die at the same time and it's awful. Whereas if you put your tanks in a vertical pattern, well then suddenly they're dying one at a time and it's much, much more staggered, right? You're buying much, much more time uh, with your tanks that way. Small little efficiency player, but there it is, man. If you're just getting started in Mecca. It's quite a good little tip to keep in mind. And look at this. Look at the difference that crawlers and chaff would make, by the way, for red right now. Suddenly you'd have these steel balls latching on like two or three fangs at a time. They'd take forever to get through them, dude. This might not even be a usable replay. If red doesn't build any chaff this game. That's how big of a deal it is, man. Because I, I don't just like to upload any old... Any old meme. It's got to be something of a fair contest. Okay, there it is. Nice. I can see crawlers starting to come down. Okay. Good, man. Saved. Salvaged. The flanking wasps on both sides for red coming down. The range comes out on the steel balls. We've got more levels available. We've got some level 3 neds over here right now. Dude, these steel balls are no joke. 125 meter range... No problem. Scorpions come down. Uh, off of the unit drop. Not sure the scorpions are even necessary, but I think... Oh, we don't have artillery tech on the scorpions. That's deeply unfortunate. I feel like artillery on the scorpions is a must, personally. Okay. Here comes the wasps. Now, there's no question that we still win the ground battle here. These steel balls are just completely out of control. Um, real question is, I guess, can the wasps kill off this many steel balls before the round ends? I guess they're extended range steel balls, so they're lacking a bit of max HP. So the wasps should be able to get it done. Yeah, they kind of cut through them uh, pretty quick in the end. No real problems. Still get the building kills, though. A lot of experience. Okay. Oh my god, they actually get the other building kill as well. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Okay, there we go. The power of time travel, boys. How about that? But you didn't think you'd be time traveling today. Well, you just did. Super heavy armor, acid blast. Uh, I think the ion blast is fine. Okay, we got super heavy armor. Which, I hope we're not gonna put that on a steel ball. Because I sort of feel like once you've got an extended steel ball range and you reduce the max health, of uh, your steel balls by 40%. Then putting super heavy armor on the steel ball kinda like it ha almost has like anti value, you know? Like it's not worth as much. Um, oh wow, strain to high explosive ammo on the stangs. Okay, if we got super heavy armor on the steel balls, but. <laughs> okay, dude. I'm not the biggest fan, but at the same time, it's still pretty funny. Meanwhile, Mustang production on the melting point. These Acolytes will become a problem if they continue to scale, by the way. We only have one level 3 Acolyte right now. See, this is why I sort of feel like having artillery on the Scorpions. So, so good. Just denies your opponent winning off of the back of um, carry Acolytes in a situation like this. The Wasps will get mostly butchered. Not so much on this side. Massacred on the left, where there's an extra pack of uh, Stangs. Bit surprised that the Stangs lost that badly, actually. But there you go. Now, I'm pretty sure all of these Stangs will die horribly before they get to kill these Wasps over here. Even if the Steel Balls were able to take the dub. Look at that, man. The extra, the, like the Mustang production coming out of the uh, melting points, actually buying so much time. For red on this side. Like, I, I... Dude, I still think that red's in a position where if he was to just spam crawlers on his backline. Like, it completely changes the dynamic of the game. And uh, puts blue on the back foot. Okay. It's a chunk of damage, dude. Mostly because of the wasps uh, still finding their target. Still finding their mark. Uh, tank production line, lightning storm. Okay, I mean, blue is very, very, uh, sorry, red is very, very bunched up. Lightning storm will get a lot of value. Yeah, the range on the stangs is fine. Two packs of stangs against level three wasps, that should do it. That should really take care of them. Should be fine now. 
Red really doubling down on the wasps, whereas really he should sort of expect that these wasps are just going to get slaughtered now. Like, they're, they're going to be counted, right? The Stang's on the field already. Generally speaking, if you won, like, bigly with a unit in the last round, it's usually a bad idea to then double down on that unit. Um, because, yeah, your, your opponent has probably realized that they just got owned by that unit, right? So they're probably about to start countering it. So unless you're, like, you're super far ahead and they're super far behind... Then, uh, yeah, more wasps. And even the range upgrade on the wasps just didn't really make that big of a difference. And as such, without the buildings dying, these steel balls are not playing games. And there's nothing to slow them. Oh my god. I mean, that's really good for red as well, by the way. So I think what red has to do now, man. First of all, he needs to pick between either elite marksmen on the acolytes and then spam crawlers. Or go multi-target on the melting point. Get another melting point down here. Give them like uh, multi-target. Hit the plus range button and just believe in melting points to get all of these uh, steel balls dead. That's definitely also another option. I think I'd actually lean towards the melting points and the energy diffraction play. And then spend any spare resources on crawlers. And I think the reason for that is... Um, I, I just don't think that... Blue actually has a good way right now to kill off a multi-target melting point that's playing from a very safe distance with um, laser sights. Mostly because the Scorpions do not have artillery. They don't have artillery stance. And so as long as you have a good amount of crawlers coming in from the back line to protect multi-target melting points, I don't think they'll ever get targeted by these Scorpions. But it's an interesting one. Look at the range of these guys, man. No, who is it? Yes, these guys. <laughs> 175 meter range. The wasps absolutely disemboweled on the flanks at this stage. Oh god, but this is more wasps purchased. I didn't even see that. Oh god, so much tech invested in these wasps. Red, no! <laughs> what? Oh god. Oh Jesus, okay. This will be one of those games man. oh wow. <laughs> Oh no! Dude! Red went for the improved ridge. Blue did not. Oh yeah, yeah. I really, really thought that blue would go for that. But okay, it's still not too late for red. Okay, yes it is. <laughs> I was gonna say, dude, it's still not too late. He could still make the play to either go like Elite Maxman on the Akis or the multi-tiger melting points, thing like that. And then we go for shield. And buy even more wasps. The wasps are getting slaughtered, dude. They're getting massacred. Oh, God. He's flanking with them, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, dude. All right, all right. Okay, bro. All right, man. You know what, man? Mr. Jackal, this has been a hell of a game. So I'm going to forgive you for not going uh, range specialist yourself. Only red going range specialist here. No range specialist. On the blue side, which would have made the meme even funnier. Even if it wouldn't have been, like, totally worth it. Still pretty insane to see 175 meter range. Steel balls. Look at these wasps. Will they even get to get the fangs dead? Do they even kill the fangs on these sides? I mean, they've got some levels on them, so they're, like... The leveled up wasps are actually getting a little bit of something done, but it ain't gonna be enough. They are gonna get slaughtered on that side. While all is said and done. Look how many beams we have coming in, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. I mean... They're like the sun. You know what I'm saying? They got some solar flare action going here. And that is going to be the end of poor Deep Throat. Which I'm not gonna lie, man. He was asking for it, okay? <laughs> he kind of brought it on himself. <laughs> Which I know is controversial to say things like that. But come on! <laughs> Look at these wasps, dude. That's so much supply. We're talking multiple thousands of supply, eviscerated by like a third of the cost in Stangs and uh, Mustang Tech. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. Anyways, man. Still, really, really fun game to watch. Thanks so much for submitting it. Mr. Jackal, all you need is balls. In the wise words of Mr. Jackal, 
And there you go. Do enjoy the rest of your day. Hope you also did enjoy this one. If you have a crazy, crazy old replay that you want to share yourself, make sure to post it in the official Mechabellum Discord in the Share Your Replay channel. That Discord is always linked down below in the pinned comment and in the description box. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm going to catch all of you all to see a tablet later, man.